Hi everyone, it's John at Wine Adventure Journal and welcome to our 12th and final Wine Wednesday of Christmas for 2021. Today I'm going to share with you another great gift idea. This one is a wine aerator and pourer. You can find it on our top 10 list of wine aerators and today I'm going to demonstrate it for you using a very nice bottle of wine and it is a uh, Round Pond Estate uh, product called The Vow is a 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon from Rutherford and it's from Round Pond's uh, Gavel series which is their uh, ultra premium line of fine red wines from Napa Valley and uh, we're going to transfer wine from the bottle to the glass and in the process we're going to aerate and I'm going to show you how it aerates and pours. Now first uh, this is an electric uh, product. It has a rechargeable lithium battery. So what comes in the box? Well, you have a choice of either a red, as I have here, black or white uh, wine aerator. With it comes a nice USB cable. Now, as I've mentioned with other products we've demonstrated, because uh, we do like the uh, rechargeable products rather than battery products, uh, it does have a standard uh, mini D uh, to USB cable and you probably have a lot of these around from other products, but that's how we uh, charge it and uh, It comes with two uh, Nice tubes now you're only going to use one at a time one is a spare and I'm going to show you how this tube works, but basically it has a removable uh, uh, Connection to the wine aerator at one end and at the other end is a uh, is the part that goes in the bottom and what's nice about it I don't know if you can see it very clearly however uh, it has a little bit of a notch at the bottom kind of two notches actually crosshairs and when the uh, if it should go all the way to the bottom that keeps the uh, uh, tube from uh, going flush with the bottom of the bottle and therefore blocking uh, the wine getting up in and also if you have a little sediment at the bottom that could help a little sediment not go up in your tube so we're going to demonstrate I've already opened the bottle I'm going to pull the uh, cork off it is full uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, insert this into the bottom and again you can't see it but the uh, uh, there are several uh, rings inside here so that it goes nice inside the bottle and seals and this is going to just go in here. Now I'm going to show you a picture before we go much further here after I seat the pour. And uh, so before we go ahead with our demonstration, I am going to share with you a uh, photograph. These are the three steps that the manufacturer recommends for uh, Putting the aerator pour into operation. Step one, of course, is to insert the tube in the bottom of the aerator as we've done. Step two, put the aerator on the bottle as we've done. And please take note of step three, which says push the button here to sober up. Now, as some of you know, I spent a few years uh, living in Berlin, Germany. And while I was there, uh, I was sometimes hooked up with companies that wanted to do advertising in America and they asked me to translate their advertisements. And back then, this is pre-internet, so it would be uh, magazine advertising, newspaper advertising. Uh, but they would have the, uh, the text of the ad, uh, as they say in the business ad, copy in German. And they would ask me to copy or to uh, translate from German into English. Or sometimes they had a uh, copy that had been written in British English, and they wanted me to... Uh, uh, translate it for the American audience, put it in American terms, and I would do that. So it's kind of humorous to see sometimes uh, manufa foreign manufacturers, uh, the English that they use when they don't have a native speaker to do a translation for them, because as it says in step three, push button to sober up, we're probably going to do the exact opposite, because we're going to push the button here to actuate or turn on the uh, aerator, and when we do, we, uh, we get the green light on, means we're pouring, 
And we are pouring and aerating into our glass of wine. And as I like to do, I pour to the broadest part of the bowl. And there we have it. The wine has been both aerated and poured from the bottle. The other great thing is that it is now sealed as long as the aerator remains on top. And again, you'll see uh, the lights are coming on here. Uh, quick comment, when you do uh, recharge the unit, uh, which occurs by obviously having it off the bottle and you put the uh, power cord here and plug it in, you'll see both of the lights that you have here are going to flash green and they'll stop when the uh, unit is fully charged. So that is how we use this aerator. Now just to uh, uh, let you know how do you clean it. Well, when you're done, when you've either taken all the wine that you want out for the day and you've stopped the bottle, or if you have used a decanter, if you want to use this to uh, decant, you can simply uh, take the glass, put it aside, put your decanter here, push the button, and transfer all the wine into your decanter, airing it out as it goes. Uh, if you are, don't have time to decant your wine as long as you would like, but you want to serve in a carafe or in a decanter, this is a good way of getting a quick aeration done uh, as you uh, fill up your decanter or, uh, uh, or any other uh, serving type of glass that you're using. So uh, how do you clean it? Well, when you're done, uh, take this off and you want to uh, leave the uh, hose on it, you'll put the, uh, uh, fill up a, uh, either just a little pot or a sink with hot soapy water, warm soapy water, and run the uh, unit. It will pull the uh, hot soapy clean water up through this and will rinse out the inside for you. And then uh, after you do that, you want to uh, give it a rinse with clean water uh, without soap in it just to do a final rinse and you'll do the same thing put the uh, put the bottom of the hose into a uh, into clear warm water run the rinse put it out to dry when it's dry everything goes back in the nice bag that comes with it uh, one last thing is when you look at this online if you click the Amazon link and you see it advertised you'll see a photo of a uh, stopper and a little waiter's corkscrew. Those are meant uh, for things that you're going to need. They do not come with the, uh, come with the aerator pourer itself. And the manufacturer does in their ad, they do mention that, but in the picture you see those, it doesn't come with it. So anyway, that is the smart aerator pourer. Again, it comes in red, black, or white, very reasonably priced. And uh, if you want to aerate as you go, it's one of the best ways to do it. And it's also kind of a fun novelty uh, when you're entertaining. Uh, again, links below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like. And uh, we will not be back next week. This is our final Wine Wednesday of Christmas. Uh, we do urge you, if you have not already, complete your online shopping as soon as you can. Check out our... Uh, not only our top 10 lists, but we have a, uh, on the home page at Wine Adventure Journal, we have a stocking stuffer uh, link where we have a list of uh, about 40 uh, recommended stocking stuffers that you can hopefully still get. And you'll also see other uh, uh, lists that we have of great gift ideas for the Christmas season. Please check when you do order to make sure that uh, uh, you get an indication that they will be able to deliver prior to Christmas. Today's the 15th. We have 10 days, really nine. Uh, so if you are going to order, make sure that uh, your order is going to get there on time. Order as soon as possible. So that's it. Uh, we will see you next year with uh, the 2022 Wine Wednesdays of Christmas. Until then, we hope that you will have a wonderful holiday season. Stay safe, have fun, drink responsibly, and we'll see you again soon on Wine Adventure Journal. Cheers.